C'est pour que c'est là. C'est mis mis le fait. Le reste. Où ça qu'a été chasse Tam je bilo lanček, ko se je grel pred eno uro, pa sem ga odstavil dol. Jaz pa bil pred eno uro. Deset minut je pa res. Deset minut? Ja, ker sem šla jaz v breg pa nazaj. Tako je pa res. Pogledal na uro. Lej, vidiš koliko? Lej. Lej, tole je oklopljeno bilo, vidiš? Piš en, piš en, kaj pa snemo. Lej, vidiš številko? A di jo? Still have not completed the video, I wanted you the point here about this stuff here. So that was a Sunday, that was a Monday yesterday, and now it's a Tuesday. Then that's how it goes. This is still here. Waiting for my father to come. This is also still here recording. 1 hour 43, 44 went by, but I have to go and I have to do my stuff. My mother said I was a fucking liar. 1 hour and 30 minutes ago, 1 hour and 35 minutes ago that I was a fucking liar. Actually, excuse me, 1 hour and 15 minutes ago she told me I'm a fucking liar because she only went downstairs to do it for 10 minutes that that thing was on then i'm a fucking liar here's the date and time april 19 2022 And uh, obviously what you have seen, that's still my father sleeping inside of the bed, right? So if you want the original recording about this shit, who the liar, look, here it is. Over two hours ago, she had that thing right there, like a candle. Warming up, I suppose, right? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, those are that's what the queen likes. She likes this kind of colors, this kind of stuff. No, I was really not looking forward to having this kind of relationship with the royals. I never did. I tried to settle this in a most civil manner, in a very positive way. Uh, but I figured out right just now that this kind of stuff. This was very, very, very impersonal. I felt that the drugs they used were just for me to record certain things. And then basically dots basically connect them together. That means very, very impersonal, very criminal, very abusive, just enough for me to function. connect these dots together so they could go and literally glue together in Slovenian language you say slikanka. Slikanka is for the children with the pictures only, a little booklet that would add up all together to official diagnosis from Slovenian 
psychiatric association or whatever it is as a paranoid schizophrenia. Hey boy, uh, it's like the stuff they published about this morning about Vladimir Putin, how he hear voices and stuff in his head and so on. Putin doesn't hear any fucking voices in head. <laughs> That's a bloody lie. The guy is just as normal as the people from the Buckingham Palace. He's criminal. He does not hear any voices in his head. He's not paranoid. There is nothing wrong with him. Inside of his blood baths, as I stated, a royal is alone, battered inside. American politicians alone climbed in those blood baths. It's a fucking scorn. It's a derision for me, the whole thing. He's not paranoid. One thing I'm going to tell you, he probably is paranoid, but he is definitely not hearing any voices in his head. He's just doing whatever the Kreml the people in Moscow tr uh, trust him in Duma. He is doing his job, basically. That's all there is to it. Oh, Dobro jutro, Ati. Dobro jutro. So, you can see here, 2 hours and 40 minutes. Altogether, 3 hours and 10 minutes I, that I recorded. That happened. So, 3 hours, 40 minutes after my mother told me. She did it 10 minutes ago, which is recorded as a lie. Altogether now, it's 3 hours and 10 minutes here that can be proven. That she was doing that stuff not for the father, but for me. This here was <clears throat> just on a little fire like this. I have just removed right now, uh, but it was something like this. Very, very slightly like this. What the purpose of this thing would be, I have no fucking idea. Maybe a candle or something uh, like kind of stuff. Then I see some other interesting stuff. I see some flowers here, <clears throat> and this is the banana I got yesterday. So, I can tell you this was a really bad banana, you can tell this. But, um, I felt so good when I came back. I have not felt so good in long, long time. And so... Queen Elizabeth said, the only thing we're going to do is we're going to leave you one of those bananas. But I'm not sure. She said one of those, you know. And wanted me to get the clue what bananas. <clears throat> Strange. Strange because they are finished. Yeah, you see how they look like. Look how they look like. And this here, this is supposed to remind me of Queen Elizabeth. Strange because those are in there, but this here, they are still here. And this ritual here that I see, they are on top of bananas. You see, I, it was only one banana. It's, it's right on the top of this banana I ate. For my niece, my mother is doing this kind of shit for my niece. She would have done anything, anything without... If she had to go to prison right now, she wouldn't regret. 
this about these bananas that I have stated to you right now to me personally if, if I was to listen someone's account about what he is talking about and I'm sure that you understand nobody confessed ever when doing stuff like this to anybody yet nobody did nobody would have done this stuff here but this stuff is exactly related to this kind of stuff it's called a prostitution and all this stuff if you're asking yourself why anybody would talk to someone about poisoning well it's exactly 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 because of this thing here it's exactly about because of this issues here I was a labeled not diagnosed diagnosed I was not because to diagnose someone you have to point out the person in actually in actuality what's wrong with one you have to point out you have to have some kind of proof at hand something that you can actually prove that he is a paranoid schizophrenic that's what I was if you want titled that's what I was that's what I see as a royal title. And when I say that, I am kind of boiling in anger. I'm not taking this lightly. A real definition for titled would be labeled, branded as, without even having a second right to the second opinion from any psychiatrist. And the stuff I'm talking about to you right now, as much as wild it might seem to you, I've never mentioned this stuff before. I started to talk about this kind of issues systematically, I should say gradually, knowing that if I would talk about that stuff earlier, I would have been destroyed. That's what psychiatrists wanted me to do, but I did not. Before I did so, and you were able to see, I have posted many other proofs, physical proofs of identifying people, locations in foreign countries, in places where I should not even be. Due to my stay, ongoing stay in the U.S., let's say between 95 and almost end of the 2006, during which I have not exited the United States of America. So once I obtained all this, these are all videos, audios, proofs. Once I have obtained this kind of stuff, all this kind of stuff, and there's much stuff here I have not even posted here yet. I just have to go and copy-paste. There is God knows how much stuff I, I have already obtained, and I have to put in here in this category that's about the physical audio foremost and also video proofs about existence of this MK Ultra. I started to discuss about this kind of issues including the prostitution that involved the royals as well as the threats how I'm going to be poisoned and what actually they are enforcing to prove the thesis, which is the official thesis behind the royal title, Paranoid Schizophrenic. I'm just saying, I'm clarifying this for the people that would protest and say, why would they do this to you? Why would they want to do this? Oh, these people destroyed 28 years of life. And these people earned, through me, through my case, and it would not only involve British royals, but involved American government, of which country I became naturalized citizen in the year 2000, as well as Germany, France, Italy, Japan, China, Russia. You would probably amount to several billions of dollars of trade that went on literally through this ground zero. Ground zero case, which they wanted to keep 
at that level due to financial obligations they have committed themselves to since 1995. For quite several years these people insisted on anywhere from reward to commission on what it became inconvenient for them the whole thing and that's pretty much what always happens with the people that owe for the services in this case I was treated I'm not gonna say with less dignity than an animal I was tortured and torture went on for no less than 25 years just clarifying this for the people that would be like why the hell would they want to do this stuff why the hell would they want to do it that's why and they connect the issues to the title they have labeled me with which I had broken down all the way to grandeur delusions of grandeur and all the way to personality disorders with which they branded me for me to I should say branded my life through which they want they wanted a world to view me as stuff here that you see exceptionally pertains to me uh, related to a Hollywood celebrity a cure for cancer or a multi-millionaire this is like exceptionally very beautifully I have managed to obtain from the internet this is just really really brainwashed based on copy and paste from medical manuals through which and of course through the family through the closest family members these people believe they're gonna brand me with death and they did these people destroyed me no less than 28 years of life want to make somebody look antisocial this here is a Wikipedia encyclopedia of how you do that to the person for what I stated right there my mother told me this my mother told me this the only thing the only thing I will do for you I will leave this ring with the fire like this a little bit on father is sleeping he's gonna get up in about two hours probably he gets up at about 10 11 even 12 o'clock in the morning that thing specifically was for me because there is a T in there no. T looks like this <clears throat> this applies earlier already to this stuff here she changed this here for what she told me when I change this you no longer are here she told me why do you think the previous curtains she had since my return from Poland uh, you're not wanted we don't want you here and really it was the welcome from Poland I got when I returned back why did you return back why did you return back to the scene of crime is how she addressed to me all my life so she changed this about a week ago that should mean to me like obviously my death in this thing here also appeared but the queen elizabeth was here and she demanded to find her something that would have to do with the tooth and with this colors of this flower that's what she likes and so my mother told me do you see this one do you see this one how this one looks like do you see this one 
This one looks good, it's happy, but this one, what is it? The tooth, the tooth. Yeah, I am gonna publish the audio recording from the dentist. So this is a movie, Windows Movie Maker, and um, that's basically what I will be talking to you in continuation. Look, look at this stuff. See what this is? You can record up to 58 minutes so far I managed to join video clips on this uh, on this movie maker here. That's a Windows 7 32-bit. They told me to install a new version of Windows. Uh, that kind of stuff, but it's got to do with some other hardware issues rather than software, I think. And... Uh, that's all the rest of it. You'll see this in continuation of the video. About the Queen Elizabeth I mentioned. Uh, was it, is it possible there was Queen Elizabeth that ordered that? Well, the answer to this is obviously fact. Yes, indeed. And if it was not the Queen Elizabeth, uh, in that case, they had someone who resembled Queen Elizabeth, an opportunity, 2017, I think it was, pretty sure, using whatever, silicon mask, whatever it is, when it comes to the Queen Elizabeth, whenever it came to Joe Biden alone, when it came to the politicians right on the top, they have never ever used anyone without their permission. MKUltra staff members, they would replicate, they would imitate even without their permission. But when it came to people like Queen Elizabeth, no... Look at this. I'm sure you know the wise guy. Yeah, son. That's a Robert De Niro, that's right. With this guy, inside of the Buckingham Palace, I was on a quite a few occasions. Those oh, that is. are inside of the Buckingham Palace, that are around the Queen Elizabeth, and this is not written anywhere, can confirm that this man, as well as some other people from Hollywood and World of Sports, Occasionally do pay visitations to Buckingham Palace. In fact, this guy did met with Queen Elizabeth. This guy mentions Not gonna do it. Gotta make it on my own. Rhymes. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Humpty Dumpty. Look at that book right there. He, he took out a loan and all this. What the hell was that? He got two weeks to pay, and next time he's dead. Oh, Mother Hubbard went to the. Oh, Mother Hubbard. Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard. To... Oh, Mother Hubbard. That's your bone for her dog. She didn't. Bone for the dog. La 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 la. You can see this stuff yourself. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch a bone her dog she didn't reach. That's on America's Got Talent where I was brought in 2017. The thing about it is that Mother Hubbard... Who is the Mother Hubbard? What about her chalet from Mother Hubbard? Is it real? That's what I was uh, confronted with. That's what I was um, challenged with. Sometimes, sometimes since 97, I'm pretty damn sure, I drove not only next to, but sometimes with the Queen Elizabeth, literally. We would frequently, whenever hijacked from the US to Britain, drive through the Britain, go to cities and through the villages. People aren't sure whether that's hmm, this fiction, whatever, that it really applies to the real character or not. They were really, really not sure about. And she became obsessed with a Mother Hubbard cottage, wanted some kind of proof of something, admired these old houses, and eventually did find something that looked like a Mother Hubbard cottage. Demanded from, to, to make the story short, it's rhyme, 
that describes something as a road to nowhere, according to what I came to conclusion to. Basically, if you want to discourage someone, those are really beautiful rhymes you would want to use. Got Robert De Niro, knowing that Robert De Niro, not knowing how to present me with this kind of bullying, but he got an assignment on how this will be done through American Got a Talent and exercised one, literally asked Robert De Niro to include certain rhymes in his America Got Talent whatever, which came out in 2017, 2016, whatever, I don't know, when they took me there. They took me all the time. But had intention to implement this rhymes through some way, somehow, so that I would adhere, so that I would acknowledge this Mother Hubbard in some way, yeah, this is really not sarcastic, this is really is sadistic. If you read the news site about the stuff these people have done to me, that's a very, very sorrow goodbye. That's not very nice to tell somebody like myself rhymes like that. Bring someone like this, uh, humiliate, body shame one, do that kind of stuff, that was nasty. So that I would remember about the Mother Hubbard, where Robert De Niro took me prior to this show that you see here, America Got Talent, straight to her, to the Buckingham Palace, so that I would acknowledge Mother Hubbard, sat with her, with him, she made bloody sure that I understand what's going to take place, then taken to the U.S., And the Mother Hubbard, it started, the show started. Not only through these people here, Simon, um, Heidi, uh, but also portion of the audience, portion of the audience, not entirely, but portion of the audience, they were already involved days prior to the show, two days, I think, three days, I think, they were doing auditioning, something like this, and then the show took place, actually. In those three days, I was faced with uh, numerous very unpleasant for me, issues, situations, you could say psychological abuse, torture took place. So, back to the flowers. You think that what you see right there, you want to call this like a, a curtain, a cover, or whatever it is, uh, sorry, table curtain, whatever you want to call this, whether that's possible that it was a Queen Elizabeth that exactly demanded this to be to, with the flowers to look like this on occasion? But the answer for this is yes. That is exactly correct, and I'm saying to be totally 100% on dot, if it, she was not the one who was present when giving me instructions how to see the future abuse against me, poisoning, during which Prince William stated me alone, there will be two kinds of poisoning. One is going to be poisoning due to blood, due to your teeth, to infection. That's one kind of poisoning. That one you have to exercise when you feel pain, cardiac pain. That one, because the heart is a muscle. And then it's going to be that other one. The real poison, like poison. Like the one I'm talking about here. Now that one, however, since he stated me, you don't exercise. That one you have to let to clear itself from the poison first, then you go and you exercise. There are two different issues you're going to be faced with. So what do you think that was uh, Queen Elizabeth? It really doesn't matter. It might have been someone she used in Slovenia that impersonated her through the silicon mask. But it definitely was her message, so accept it. How it all went along there. And as I stated inside of the hospital, general hospital in an Avamesto, they performed this stuff. They would pull me out, fillings, plumps, and play with infection, uh, breaking me teeth in the private clinic. The lady that assisted me at that private clinic, that physician, that dentist, she was also involved in this case since 1995. Uh, she went all the way to Belgrade. In Belgrade, they demonstrated me chairs with how, claimed me how there's going to be cameras, we're going to record you and stuff like this, and involve people into mentioned clinic that were not even in Slovenia, that they had roots from parts of Bosnia, but on the Serbian side. And so 
That's the way. Because of the stuff like this, it does me no good. It only causes me a lot, a lot, a lot of problem. They wanted me to look as this thing here. It does me no good to talk about the stuff like this. I sit inside in here, week after week, losing time, gaining weight. Look at this. They destroyed me five computers, five laptops. Just so I could be planted with a laptop that cannot burn a movie on the Windows Live Movie Maker, like the program, this one here that you see, that is larger, actually longer than 55 minutes. See this thing's here, this, uh, this, this kind of stuff? It always stops burning a movie at about 80 to 90 percent of the movie once it's done. And sometimes beyond that. Uh, this is all the stuff I was demonstrated under MK Ultra when you're gonna purchase exactly this used computer. There were exactly two new computers destroyed. Uh, one Fujitsu I bought from Poland, I purchased a new one, was destroyed simultaneously as I brought one inside in here. That's the third one. The fourth one was a brand new tablet which I have purchased from AliExpress and it was a completely different, including the size of the tablet that arrived in the mail. Actually it appears even to be a used tablet. So that I could purchase the fifth tablet and so on, a uh, computer, excuse me, and so on and what you see here and this and that. So it does me no good, the stuff like this, the stuff like this increases my weight, it contributes to bad health overall and I do have a real health problem, problems. And uh, it uh, makes me a rather somewhat look resemble to this thing here, which they insisted me on looking like, so they wouldn't be held accountable for the crime. That's why paranoid schizophrenia is extremely, extremely, extremely difficult to disease. I heard there was no one so far that would prove once diagnosed with one. In my case, as I stated, I didn't even get the chance from the second psychiatrist's opinion. Nobody ever managed to escape once he was labeled with one. And so watching my program, it makes you understand exactly why is it so difficult to escape from one. It's the closest family members that are always... No, I'm not going to say always, but in my case, yes, they were used against me since 1995. The closest family members are father, mother, sister, daughter from my sister, niece, therefore, and her husband. That's how they got the stuff going through the family circle. This kind of a video recording does me no good. This is nothing else than pure violence. This kind of stuff. It's the stuff that really, really matters, that I have an audio recording, so the people whom I have identified that I need to put online and it's this kind of stuff that does me no good, that does me a lot of problem but if not done it, it's gonna be more poisoned next time because when you have a sepsis, when you have a blood poisoning as a local physician stated it doesn't really make any difference between the real poisoning and between that one it does me no good, but whether I like it or not I have to do it this way, it actually even looks me like what you see right here, exactly they wanted to portray me as. It does me no good, but I just have to do it this way. That's how it was. A banana I ate last night upon my return. Oh, true. I think it was something else in it too. I think it wasn't just banana like banana. I think I don't know. Don't know what to tell you. My mother privately interacts inside of the stores with employees of the stores. She used to. 
all the stores and the stores in the city of the Novo Mesto were employed, uh, involved in this case of mine. They would regularly meet me on the site, uh, even with some customers. At times, I had a feeling like the store would be closed also when the stuff went on inside of those stores in the city of the Novo Mesto. I have never drank the coffee the way you see me drinking now. Never drink one like this because it doesn't taste good to me. Prince Harry, however, insisted me that I'm not going to be allowed to drink one with milk. They insisted me that if it's a little bit left inside, I shouldn't even drink. The police officer neighbor here insisted me they will do something to the milk since I like the milk. Prince Harry insisted me they will do something to me. That already happened once. Once I did develop, maybe in 2000, and Two thousand, I don't know, two thousand and four, whatever. Uh, it almost felt like I'm allergic to the milk. I don't know what happened. I stopped drinking milk, and then I started to drink milk. Maybe two years later, or something like this, without having any kind of problems. Police officer neighbor told me that. If it's a little bit left or something like this, do not even drink. They observed me when the, the bottle would be empty. They observed me filling one with the water, mixing it, uh, and then adding that, uh, broiling it, and then adding that to the coffee. Uh, they told me they're going to do something, that they're going to leave some kind of residue on the inside. That if I will be doing this kind of stuff, that's going to make me sick. When I, whenever I drink this, uh, uh, if I drink from the top, it was okay. But if I drink from the bottom, the pressure, the sound pressure, it would just explode in my head it was just it would just explode i became sick almost simultaneously they claim me under mk ultra it's going to be coffee the one that's going to be making me sick not to drink one eventually that's going to kill me yeah if you consider the coffee i had the other day probably that's the kind of coffee that will kill you i don't have any doubts about it but the coffee you see right there i'm keeping in this bag with me all the time now it doesn't leave me anything, any kind of problems. I have to drink the coffee. Because if I don't drink the coffee, remember, low pressure, low heartbeat. Uh, if I don't drink the coffee, what happens is I cannot function. So now I drink coffee, but I don't drink absolutely milk anymore. I cut the milk away so that I can function like a normal, semi-normal myself, but like a normal human being, yeah. Taking into account that I'm capable to perform far more than a normal human being. Milk was their most powerful weapon against me. Uh, unfortunately, I did not realize uh, I don't have any kind of diarrhea. I don't have any, everything is normal except that the blood pressure it appears it just would at least in my head whatever it is it would just explode whatever it is. That brings me to another option. There is something else inside in there or at least was. Milk was delivered by someone to our house. There's always somebody that brings the milk, that, drop, that dumps the milk, and 
so on and so forth. That this is, I suppose, that he earns commission like this or something. I don't know. We want to clarify that comment, normal human being. Uh, I should say, I should have used a regular human being. That's what I hear 24-7 for five years. I guarantee you, any one of you guys would last maybe two months the most. I've seen people cracking around me just by going, just by having alarms, store alarms, or were employed as a security officer. Alarms went off and they cracked down like a babies because they would, those alarms would frequently go. It was like this that they had me employed in the US at Wackenhead Corporation, let's say, where I would be stationed inside of the facility as a security officer and they would have alarms all the time that all the time they would drive insane with the alarms and i've seen people around me co-workers going off completely crack nobody spent more time in there than i did catching overtime that was the kind of opportunities they gave me now 24-7 during sleep too for you to go through stuff like this and be capable to recall events from MK Ultra. then you have to be a little bit more than a regular human being then you have to be strong intelligent persistent capable to endure abuse pain or there is no or What's interesting to me is that a physician who examined me and the physician prior to this one that examined me and politicians, including Borel Pahor, claimed under MKUltra that at least if I will not reduce the coffee, I will be dead. If I will not reduce the coffee, I will be dead. My sleep really was at times even three, four hours a day. When I would start to drink coffee, it would reduce to three, four hours a day. The problem here is that when I drink coffee, my sleep is almost eight hours. It's a normal sleep. It's not a schizophrenia. Like this individual claimed me, I'm just gonna say it's a schizophrenia because if you will not even care about the sleep, therefore drinking a coffee, we don't have anything to talk about, therefore. No, actually it's most not the coffee that reduced my sleep. I drink coffee. I drank one yesterday. I slept eight hours today. I had a really good night's sleep without absolutely any sound in my head. I felt so good like I have not felt in the last five years since when this started. So, if I drink coffee with the milk, then, therefore, if I added milk, milk I always boiled. My mother brainwashed me that it's going to be like this because the milk is not going to be boiled. It's not true. So, if you drink the coffee with the milk, then your sleep is reduced to four hours, to three hours. Hmm. That's a strange kind of schizophrenia, for one thing. Then the second thing. The MK Ultra song had in it, if you will not take care of the sleep at least, therefore, if you're going to drink coffee, that's what the physician, the last one I had, examined me. All these physicians from General Hospital, novel master here, involved in this. This guy was involved before he became physician. He became physician through this case. It is another one to say there were three of these kids. Two were medical students 
they started zdravstveno tehnično it's like a high school of medical here in Novome so the same where I studied like a technician specialized medical technician of which maybe I'm not going to even say the second physician who examined me the second one the number two, the second gentleman who examined me. I'm not completely certain. I think that his mom was involved in MK Ultra since 1995. And the kid became interested in a medical field because of this case. And would come to the hospital literally... I think his mother used to work in a hospital, but I'm not 100% sure that this is the kid. There was a lot of kids. I'm 50 years old. There was a lot of kids that got involved, and all these ladies that work in the hospital, they saw me back and forth, back and forth, all these physicians. And I think there is a strong possibility that his mother is actually was employee in this hospital I don't know maybe I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say this if this if she was the one that I was actually even um, you know kind of flitting with it under MK Ultra I don't know uh, he definitely came with he was the first one in a group there were like three kids they became three colleagues same age it should be, I don't know about this, I have to see other others. There's a bunch of physicians here in this hospital, in this general hospital here in Novo Mesto. Uh, he was introduced, and two other guys were introduced into this um uh, if you want a decision making process about becoming a physician's doctors through this case by a neighbor again Dr. Igor Kotter he would bring them inside of the hospital and uh, I am more and more and more and more and more sure about this stuff that it was like some kind of uh, practical part maybe even of uh, that they had to do something like this uh, but at first it was really something that this that this kid in particular this one uh, would go and be alongside these physicians basically to get an idea what is this all about and this and that before I saw him with other kids together inside of this hospital maybe doing the practical part of this um you know school something like this and you're talking about high school one of the, with two kids from this Novomesto, i think he was one of the two and with a third kid who was from gymnasium and went to become a physician the three of them then had a tulipliana Literally, I don't know if this was the kid from this lady, but there was one lady that was, um, um, that's a little bit brazen of me right now. She was employed at this hospital, and um, did she become actually a single mom or something like this? I don't know, but if that's it, then I have just hit like... A mega jackpot. Jack, jackpot. If his mom is a single mom, then I hit a mega jackpot. And if it's not, then that's then another lady that used to work inside of this. And uh, where did she used to work? She assisted some doctor. She assisted uh, a physician's. Oh, 
or administration or whatever it is. I need to I need to come up with this still. This is you you're talking about the lady that was that became involved in nineteen ninety five. Nineteen ninety five um and then I don't know what happened in nineteen ninety 99 maybe the two went apart or something like this divorce i i don't know okay i i just wanted to say this uh these kids now grown man became a physician so obviously and that's what so if you're not going to take care at least the sleep we're not going to help you out well my problem is low heartbeat low pressure extremely extremely low heartbeat <laughs> due to mk ultra drugs due to whatever god knows what they have done to me what other stuff they have done to me they were using i'm mean, never gonna get to get to this issue how the fuck can i function with a, such a low heartbeat rate that other people would fail and fucking die with a, such a low pressure you can't donald trump stated me and he's gonna think it's a high blood pressure and in reality, it's going to be low blood pressure. It's a low blood pressure. But what is this? I don't know. They don't tell anything. This is something related to gland nodes and so on, to the cancer. The banana would not make me so sick if it wouldn't be. It's again, it's not a coffee. It's not a coffee. When somebody like Borat Pahar, politician from Milan Kuchan, tells you that if you will, you will make it through, only if you will not drink coffee. And I said, without the coffee, I cannot even function. I can't function. I could lay down and just stay there on the floor for two days straight and fucking pass out, maybe die, whatever. I could do that. It's not a difficult thing to do. That's how bad it is. Just suffer a blackout and go. Fighting with the blood clots, it's not a joke, <clears throat> but it's not a coffee. That does it. Coffee makes me feel good, actually. So what was in there? What, what, what with these bananas and this stuff? There's something else going on. The two, what happened with the two? The two, <clears throat> the two, the problem with the two, they have created permanent one. This is the game that went on. They would be removing and infecting my teeth since 1995, 1996. In fact, the way this was done here with the first tooth that whether I would pull one out in 2008 or suffer exactly probably the same fate as they gestured me. Obviously they have repeated, evidently they have repeated again in 2017. And it was really, really not, it, it was just this, this, the game with the tooth suggests from based on what you can see here, that the tooth was drilled literally on one side with idea and field with idea to break the wall away so not on this side here where there is still if i cover this here you can see half of the tooth actually intact but this here this where the wall is you can see that this thing, the way this, this was drilled inside, was drilled in a such a way so that simply would break off. No dentist normal would go and do something like this. This was a deliberate hit. And from what I understand, they afterwards played with this stuff. After the two already was taken out, I was told that about the crack when the teeth fell up away it's what the guy the politician in 2013 walked inside of this room and told me because you bragged about online about your teeth how they are strong we did this the only thing i remember from 2005 was from aleksandr vucic that's now serbian president Here's, look, here's the tea. Here's the tea from 2000 and... Uh, I'm gonna try to demonstrate you this stuff. 
It's not only on the side. It's right there in the middle. Right here also. The only thing I remember from Alexander Vujic is there is enough here to put at least a corn, grain of corn inside in there. Feeling wise. The pea is not the one here. It's this one here. Not the one completing the back. The only thing I remember from Aleksandar Vucic, Chetnik, Serbian Chetnik now, President of Serbia. The only thing I remember is when he told me, we did this to you. I told you, they play with the teeth. It wasn't only one teeth they played since 1995. Infecting, causing infection and driving crazy on issues of blood. Cancer. The only thing I recall from 2005 he told me, in Serbian language, I did this to you and this and that, and we're going to see, literally they doubt me, where I'm going to go to the dentist and have the tour removed, not repaired. I did. In 2005, when I came, the only thing I did was I went to the same dentist. They used one right here in Slovenia, in Novo Mesto, and I told the guy to pull him out. There was some philosophy about la 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 la, about repair this and that. I said, the only thing I would like to do is I would like to have one removed. And he did. He went ahead and he pulled one out and that was it. But they made sure it was death threats already from the dentists in the city of the Novo Mesto. Every dentist that was involved in it already since 1997. They made fucking sure that they continued with it. The dentist I have mentioned disappeared. There were two other dentists at that dentist that they would take care of this stuff. But the main one was a general hospital in Novo Mesto, where they would use uh, to do this kind of dirty stuff. So, there is there is a tool right there. Look, oh, the portion of it, is just, it just fell me off. So, that's the video that I just recorded right now I'm going to use. The portion of it, it actually fell me off. It's right here. And uh, I'm going to place one back. Back inside in here. Uh, Nobody had to get in. Uh, the police administered this stuff on the MK Ultra, and I know so that mother, who on a weekly basis with a father, uh, would go out on a healthcare examinations with a taxi that would come to pick them up right here at the door because I wasn't. 
I wasn't the one who would take them out. They didn't need, they didn't appreciate my willingness to help. They didn't want me to take them with a the car anywhere. That was when father couldn't drive the car. Um, and then basically when father started to drive the car, uh, the health examinations ended, but they would still continue to go someplace. That means they were meeting and with the police and with a psychiatrist, God knows where. I was told it's going to be at the place for shopping because the psychiatrist and police are located next door. In eyes of international public, therefore, because you don't have to worry about no police, they know what they're, what, what's been done, what's going on. It makes no hell difference when you're talking about the cancer, when you're talking about cookies, when you're talking about the chips, when you're talking about ingredients, about the food, and da 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 Thanks God I did not. Thanks God I have refrained myself from doing what they incited me in. But in eyes of this international world, when you talk about the cancer, and we talk about the tooth issues, It's a logical thing that poisoning is going to take a place because there's no freaking way you possibly can prove anything in respect to one. So I completely understand nobody had to get in here and check anything, really. It was like this on a weekly basis. It was so-called Rudy. Rudy was a taxi, a cab service. Rudy would come. Rudy is going to come to pick us up for this kind of, uh, on a weekly basis, uh, for some kind of, uh, whatever, uh, examination, health examination. It was like this. Father can drive the car. Father, father have unidentified dementia. Can drive the car, can drive the car. Uh, once he started to drive the car, however, This kind of stuff continued without health examinations. I'm talking about the shopping. Shopping, shopping like you go to the store to purchase stuff, food and that kind of stuff. Police and psychiatry right next, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, right next door to Eurospin store. Eurospin here in Olmesto, right next door. Or whichever way they did. But they did receive instructions on when and how to do it. No need for anybody to walk inside and check and this and that and see. They work well, well, coordinated with one another. Nothing good. What exactly would happen if you would uh, be quiet about, if you would be silent about? Nothing good either. Just as neighbor Cotter stated, you can't prove the difference between infection and real poisoning. What you see here, however, they also made sure everywhere, whenever they would try to incite in a paranoia whenever they would want you that they expected for this part here for me to go as I was threatened on an empty ultra this home pastry is going to be poisonous that I'm going to say that I'm just going to look at this see that mice right there translated from Slovenian gumice rubber bands they believe that I'm just going to go and start da 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 here is the poisoning here is this here is that da 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 and stuff like that Along the way, you don't see here, mother also purchased some potatoes and uh, cookies and stuff like this on the same day or day prior to that. Well, it's exactly this kind of stuff that's used to support paranoia in one. I can recall death threats. I can recall health warnings I have received under MK Ultra when subjected to MK Ultra. But I can under no circumstances recall the blood pressure sound that I would suffer directly due to food poisoning. I remember that I had one because occasionally they would stop me, ask me if I can hear, can you hear this? Do you feel this? Do you feel that? What do you feel now? And so on. Sure. But when it comes to food, as you have seen right there, and 
cookies from the stores and so on. That kind of stuff was only supported from MK Ultra, a paranoia therefore, incitement in paranoia through the threats on what you're going to experience and through the real poisoning in real time at the beginning of MK Ultra upon my return from Poland. The poison that you see right there and it was there is missing now. However, The memories under circumstances I'm exposed to do not fade away. And if you look at the time, the date, there is actually a poison right there. Uh, for the for the rats, for the mouse, as you see right there, that doesn't fit inside of the kitchen on a window like that, and that one stayed around for quite some time. Here is the video. A month earlier, this poison sit right there. On the window, it's the poison that was moving back and forth for another, another month downstairs at the entrance into the house. So, you see, this is how you get person into a paranoia about being poisoned. My mother made sure and that this the real rat poisoning, the real poisoning, I'm not saying for the rats, but the real poisoning, in fact, was used in this case supported with the death threats under so-called MKUltra if you want to do this. It was a torture, not only death threats, they have also, also, portion of this death threats, they related to the health issues. So I just want you to understand basically where exactly, how exactly that stuff is done. Gumice, that's a rubber bands in Slovenian, but if you put on the side, <laughs> it's either real Prince William or whomever they have used through the silicon mask, and they have presented as a, as a Prince William, um, as a Prince William, as a Prince Harry, I do apologize on that part, he insisted me that one day he got up and saw this thing, and he didn't know what this was, and it looked like it was a poison, mice, and this and that, uh, and then he realized actually it was restored, it was just a rubber band, and it's just this kind of stuff that I should always put attention to, because it's this kind of stuff uh, that should be like a first warning sign for me uh, then to not eat certain food. And so, you know, when you talk to someone about so much about the food, ingredients, and stuff like this, what you're going to do to one, that he's going to have a cancer issues, and so on and so forth, and you actually did poison a few times, severely this stuff, then a person will start, not out of paranoia, but out of plain care for his own dear life, basically watch what exactly he is consuming. What's the story behind the bananas? What, what's the story about the bananas, about the bananas poisoning? The banana poisoning was related to an issue which dated back to the US where I was told to consume as many bananas as possible due to nutrients they have and are especially healthy for the heart. They refer to potassium. Something I told to people involved MKH or staff member to physician neighbor on how after I was confronted with what am I going to do in respect to cardiovascular hair after which they will go uh, I told I mentioned bananas and it's before you know American psychologists warned me about this he said please don't forget exactly because you claim the bananas are good for heart. That's exactly what they're going to inject it with the poison bananas. Let me tell you, I could never understand. And next to the bunch of theories they came on how banana has got to look completely fresh, completely, completely fresh without even smallest part damaged, I'm going to say, to be eaten involved a bunch of people with a cancer who claimed me, oh yeah, 
banana, banana, how is this? Uh, this will kill you, banana, banana will kill you, and I don't know what. Don't forget, if I cite Daniel Rex Smith, don't forget they're going to stuff your banana with a real poison that is going to affect exactly the heart issues. You see, so then this is the kind of stuff that does not expand anymore on some kind of paranoia and on schizophrenia, but rather on a torture with idea, with a real poisoning and with a final outcome with idea to portray one as a paranoid schizophrenic. That's what basically this was. Thank you. Prince Harry insisted me, if I remember, if I remember how many times I was poisoned under MK Ultra, it came to me immediately under MK Ultra that the way he talks to me, the way he talks to me, it's like obviously he wasn't talking to me in present. They incited. The clearly, clearly, the Londoners, the Buckingham Palace, Windsors incited in schizophrenia, in paranoia. If I can tell how many times I was poisoned, if I can tell, laughingly, happy, joyous, if I can tell how many times I was poisoned, what exactly that tells you, what that's exactly the impression I obtained. I still never overreacted, I never reacted back with any anger, with anything, but instead with a kindness, with a friendliness. Every British that was here, an American, and everybody knows it, everybody has seen this civilized, polite behavior of mine. And continued. What would be normal and what would not be normal on how many occasions before you would react to a poison? How many times I was actually poisoned? Um, during the time when I exercised upon return from Poland, when I took the sporty way of life, the poisoning was more and more and more frequent with more with with a with more and more dire consequences for me at one point the consequences that would lead me for what i was interpreted under mk ultra it's going to be directed energy attack uh they took me about 15 20 minutes eventually to recuperate myself to get my shit together eventually i lost my stability due to whatever was used uh, i would frequently i started to frequently upon when whenever walking i started to feel here like something like hot vein or something like this like it would be hit or something like it would be a friction like it would be a friction they told me not to talk about the blood clots because you will not have any but some people some other people contemplated that i would suffer anywhere from uh from cardiac arrest to it was a great possibility of what they claim infarct i don't know how you say that uh brain seizure and stuff like this due to whatever the stuff that also some stuff that they related is going to be published on news and so on and so forth how many total times they displayed crazy stuff on a yahoo website through what they incited me also that they signaled me that something was done in a most humiliating way possible now I would love to think 20 times at least, but I think I think it took turn in the worst way possible on at least 30 times, I would say. It was bad. That's why I feel that this video is very important. This is a very important testimony for me. 
It's very important and I take pride in it. I took extra time in it. This video was preceded by the video about the biking trail, bicycle trail behind the village, which they also anticipated me, I'm gonna lose time, a lot of effort to fix the video and so on and so forth. Through the brainwash, through the torture they accomplished that. I did, I don't, I don't feel sorry for absolutely anything, I don't regret anything. Not even the tooth problems, whatever. Because for me to recall all this stuff, this was just a deem and necessary part. And so I don't think anything back in it. The neighbor, physician, Dr. Iger stated to me under MK Ultra that I will not be able to prove the difference between the real poisoning and between the infection, blood infection, through tooth infection, sepsis alike, whatever kind of blood infection, whatever this case of mine had to do with, had to do with. One thing I am certain of, uh, tooth infection did, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty damn sure, did produce sensation, that type of blood pressure related issues. I'm pretty damn sure. I don't doubt about that. I don't have any doubt about that stuff. Because they did it in a such a way that once, when it's not supposed to, just as I have explained, I had infection going, therefore this sensational sound, and it stopped. Because nobody even understood, you know, going to those sea issues, nobody even understood why would that be, how would that be possible? Because it was infection they started, they placed a filling over the infection, and somehow the infection got actually cured. I told you, I was always in extremely good health. I never smoke, I never drink alcohol, and I started to drink coffee just for the sake of this case, so I could get this stuff over with, and then stop again. On what they did again, pulled me filling out, create infection, place the filling, fillings back, a filling, tooth filling back, and let me loose toward Poland already with this sound. On what all these memories came to mind about all the theories that I came up with, anywhere from uh, sound attacks to uh, they brainwashed me with the other ends, they came up with ideas how I have a brain cancer, uh, how they have actually brain tumor, how it's going to be because of the brain tumor, how it's going to be because of uh, directed energy attacks, they all came up with, I don't know how many different directed energy weapons, then it was something I was never in, I was never into any of this conspiracy kind of theories, I never read about this shit, I never cared about any of this stuff. They come up with idea about all along, since 95, 96, they dreamed about causing me a cancer. A really, really nasty idea, actually. How? Two, this is because of this Buckingham Palace, because of the, what the British did to me. They advertised that I would get all this money. And they got the people, they got the Milan Kutran, they got this people, they got this Russians crazy about this money. That's how they started. That's why you have the war to the Ukraine. That's why the Putin with the billion dollar palace over there in Crimea and so on. That's the name of the game. They got everybody crazy how would be the best to get that money from me, actually to get their money through me, get a hold of that money and give me some kind of disease that the only thing that will happen is it would be you, I would be used like a transfer of wealth basically in their hands. And when it comes to economical crime, and you're talking about the people like Golovich, you're talking about a whole bunch of Slovenian politicians, these people actually did this. Under MK Ultra, it would be Royals, Dutch, they would ask me, which one do you like? This one, that one? Okay, 
Uh, so we're going to make that one possible so that he's going to make money, that they're going to make, we're going to give money and they're going to make money and they're going to help you out solve this problem. This, this. I never saw any solutions. And the people whom they have given the money, the only thing that happened is they foreclosed, they did the foreclosures, they theft, they steal the money. And that was pretty much it. The money was real. Just I never got a single dime of it. It was other people who did became wealthy and have stolen enormous amounts of money but I never did so that's pretty diabolical but very very real giving one a disease uncurable disease and through this individual whom by the way they have expressed all the repulsion and hate against me since 1995 collect the money and that's it yeah most likely would be the scenario with when considering the people the type of people here from Slovenia that Americans British and everyone else was compelled to embrace because of London very very real scenario these people did not want anything other but death for me and you can't dispute this stuff they ruined my life and eventually pushed me inside of the mental hospital. They ruined me 28 years of life. You can't dispute this, that these people had the worst intentions for me possible. And so it was really logical for me to assume eventually that the cancer would be like one of those, especially due to blood infection, for which Dr. Igor Kotter, who played with his blood infections through the teeth since 95, claimed it's going to be impossible to discern and therefore to separate, to prove, in other words, the difference, in your case, between a blood infection and between a real poisoning. It's going to be impossible, he said. Well, it was Daniel Rex Smith, this American psychologist, who observed this and stated that's not true. It's actually observing me and what I have undergone and comparing my symptoms of blood infection, tooth infection, poisoning, blood poisoning, with a real poisoning. He said it's actually a real difference, and it's actually really easy to prove. But, he said, they're going to use the physicians whom I already have met, And what you are able to see, I have actually posted the proof online about identifying some people along, if you want to call this health examinations with these physicians, which were involved in MK Ultra. So I have the proof that I was brought in there. It didn't come to me because I would solicit more people, but it didn't come to me. But in the last examination, I actually started to solicit people. Because you have no idea how insultive it is when you have a physicians, when you suffer cardiac arrests, semi-cardiac arrests, and you're going to have a physicians, you're going to recall the memories of the stuff they promised to you. Uh, like, if you're going to drink coffee, I'm not going to even bother to help you with that kind of stuff. If you're not going to secure sleep, why would I even bother helping you out and stuff like this? You recall the memories like this? You see the people that did stuff like this? Trust me, you're not going to be motivated. In You're not going to be social at all with anyone. And all the people that were inside of this ambulance, uh, actually waiting outside of this ambulance at the general hospital, you know, Mesto, they had made them do stuff. There was a guy that actually needed to purchase, I don't know what, and he did something. And it was another one who needed something else, and again, he did some shit to me. Under MK Ultra. So, you know, the social, the best social environment, something that you want to do, this is, this is not what it is. You don't actually even want to be there. Now, 
when I consider, when I reconsider that, this is a big work. And in a way, yeah, you want to be. By the way, today they came here to assist my father because I think he was rat poisoned. You see, that's why that's an important video too. I think it was rat poisoned. I think the mother did it to him. It's April the 25th, 2022 at 16, almost 100 hours. Ambulance vehicle stopped here. And that's exactly what they have stated they will do to the father. Actually, they stated that they're going to give one a uh, coronavirus to make him disappear. After Slovenian elections, Slovenian elections took place yesterday on Sunday, the 24th, 2022. And the one who won the Slovenian elections was an individual who was involved in MK Ultra almost since 1995. That's uh, Golop, Robert Golop, and his political party got about 35% in parliament. And so it was told that as soon as this thing goes through, and that's another proof, that these elections completely were fake. These are not real elections in Slovenia. And I don't want to use, I don't want to be used as an example for elections in the U.S. But these elections were not real. Donald Trump, when, con when compared to Joe Biden, whom I, by the way, do not embrace for a variety of issues, was no match for Biden. And I read this accordingly with conduct of Donald Trump as well as with conduct, talking about the public conduct stage of Joe Biden. And I can tell you that it was pathetic when it comes to Donald Trump. It was nothing but lie, paranoia, schizophrenia. Actually, I was thinking about that I had to be screwed up like this so that Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump could go on with their politics like this because other than that these people I think they stand no chance anywhere I think that nobody gives them any kind of credits for absolutely anything and so this physician too was involved and I did manage to identify a little bit I'm going to play you audio how I actually pointed out who the guy is after he stated he never was here we don't know each other but in the end he almost agreed that we do so that kind of stuff, that kind of stuff, that's actually disturbing. I'm not going to go and study medical, I don't know how to say, a booklet file. Uh, let's, let's, let's just set this aside right now. To give a, a, a medical, a medical to you. Because the physicians, I'm sure, watching this program, there were physicians involved. There were American physicians, doctors that I have seen on the Internet that were involved in this stuff. I'm not going to go and teach you about so I don't know anything in comparison with you. And I deliberately did not go and study this stuff so that I could see myself as much as possible in MK Ultra scenario and see from my plain logic view, from my plain view on how to see, and I got to say to you, when I said, Dr. Igor Kotar stated that I will not be capable to prove, you see, that is just fantastic, fantastic, and it wouldn't come to me if I would be a technical person, it wouldn't come to me, it was the same thing like the other day when I went up Goryansi, and the guy, said, the guy under MK Ultra said, there are two ways to get through, one way is to take care of the two, immediately, but if you take care of the tooth, you're not going to learn absolutely nothing about what was done to you. You're not going to know shit without experiencing actually what was done to you. That's the fast way, he said. And then there's that long way, the one I have gone through. And I got to say, they knew Rex Smith, American psychologist, who observed all that stuff, however, stated me, well, he said, there is actually a big difference between infection, blood poisoning, therefore, and something that lasts 
on a long period of time and eventually you develop certain symptoms. Certain, who knows, maybe cancer related, maybe cardiovascular related issues, just as I was promised the case is going to be. And it's really interesting how they told me timing wise. Two years, this year, ta da ta da ta da da, by saying, I had this kind of stuff and we all had to go ahead of heart surgery. If it's already so much time, you talk about people from other countries, even from India. If you have so much time, uh, then it's already, you know, la 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 la. The same thing like they have insisted me how I have to go and remove the gland node from here, which was surgically damaged in Belgrade City in 1996. You have to go, all the sport people sometimes have this stuff, but that's something you're going to have to do it. If you have the pain more than six months, you just have to go and do it. You just have to go and do it. Million times they repeated to me that stuff. Thanks God I did not. Because I think the chances for me to stay alive would be just greatly reduced. These are actually very important. Somebody told me, he said, you're going to remove one, two, three maybe and then what he said you don't do this just like this out of blue yeah it's 100% cured right now because every time I go for a walk if I have a backpack I put something here so that it doesn't squeeze me here uh, you know create a pressure on the gland node whatever wherever they have done to me whatever they have done to one you don't just go do that stuff. You can sure enough time somebody's uh, cardiac arrest failure. And it was incredible when they claimed me during the winter time you have to cover your mouth. You have to cover your mouth because of the cold air and this and that. You have to do this. And because you have a blood infection it gets on you. You catch the heart issue become even more sensitive because of these things, because of this infection and so on and so forth. Okay, it does make sense, even though the problem is that I'm a sports guy who did tremendously a lot of sports since I was a kid. Stop one once I went to the US, but I knew more than ABC because. Every time I go and I do training in a cold weather, I always know to cover my mouth. And there is few people in this world that would not drink coffee, not smoke cigarettes. I drink, definitely. I drink one since all this crap started in 2010. Started to promote my rights. I don't never drink alcohol in my lifetime. And uh, boy... As conventional when it comes to health I am, I always did cover my mouth like a most professional athletes, just as I was. So that kind of stuff was coordinated with a rat poison, not with an infection because it would be whatever it would be, but with a real rat poisoning. Now, rat poisoning you will know when you have one as soon as you're gonna feel good. Another thing is when it comes to this cardio issues, this cardio issues would all of a sudden pop up and it would be gone. It wouldn't last. Except for the last one, time when I was poisoned just as I reported here, it lasted another three days, this stuff. Boy, I, I, I have never gone through anything like this. I have never gone through anything like this yet in my lifetime. American psychologists told me there is a fine line. They're going to try to screw you through the physicians that they're going to use for you to say that you had no headache. And no, I don't have a headache. Overall, in general, I don't have a headache. I barely ever had headache. Yes. 
But when you rat poisoned me, I had the fucking headache. When you rat poisoned me, I had a headache that was sensational, like, I'm not going to say itching, but in Slovenian language, it's sharp, skeletty, like sharp, you could use, you could, you could feel, uh, like, difficult to actually explain, kind of strange headache, not headache like a headache, but strange kind of capillare. Capillare is, is instead of vein, right? Vein, small is a capillare. I don't know what you say here in the head. Sensation that appeared out of blue, out of nowhere. We came home, drank milk with a coffee. Strange, that coffee alone would not make me feel sick. But you would drink together with the milk. And it was just a little bit that I stay, that it stayed inside of this cartoon package. Again, and it was every time I got fucked like this. And it would be all of a sudden like this, that you would have this sound explode out of nowhere with this headache that you actually walk and you hear I was under this since 2017 with the sound 24-7 and finally feel good because you finally know how to take care of yourself it was exactly the time when I figured out I have to actually close this tooth opening with something this helped also for me next to 8 liters of water I drink in 2 days to reduce this blood infection to zero and all of a sudden you drink this and what now you gotta fucking explode your head that doesn't make sorry but that doesn't make a lot of sense and that's that big difference between infection between the blood infection that runs on a long term with worse symptoms when it comes to the sound which on occasion even disappeared and then it goes disappears and it, it's ready to to make your head explode that's that's what makes a big difference between the blood infection where the blood clots could be present and they were present make no mistake and the real poisoning so you eat banana you come home without absolutely no symptom, health symptom, health related symptom from the past. I remember when I said I changed everything, I started to close here to improve my health to completely normal status. And all of a sudden, you go and you eat banana before you go to sleep. And after not even one hour, you, 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 you start to hear the sound. And the next thing you, 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 you wake up in the half night, you, you feel like you have a cardiac arrest. You don't want to get up anymore because you, you're freaking tired of that shit, man. It goes already for five years. It's just another night, or whatever. Even if you don't wake up, it's not going to make no difference, damn it. Eh? You got up in the morning, you want to get up, you don't want to get up anymore because you feel like you have a fucking cardiac arrest. That kind of thing. That's a big fucking difference between a poisoning, between a real rat poisoning. And I'm not saying there was a poison for the rats that was used, for God's sake. That's not what I'm saying. I don't know what they used. I have no idea what they used. And the regular blood infection. There's a huge, huge, huge difference. Blood infection is very bad. I have had one very long but it not had no fucking effect on me. It had zero effect on me, this, this if infection, till I came to Slovenia, back to Slovenia in 2020. And it still had no, absolutely no effect on me for quite some time, even that occasionally something bad I noticed here and there happened. And it was exactly what I have demonstrated always on a Yahoo 
they would always have this kind of, they would always do stuff, display. I don't know which is which is the girl, the, the African American girl that uh, that was also involved in MK Ultra that that have that likes to have this kind of a gluing stuff. Uh, I have other videos I have to get put online, but they would always indicate me if depending on if we give a headache or whatever with some kind of a signals like this, with some kind of stuff like this to make me look crazy, to portray me insane. That's not cool, because you screwed me up 28 years of life. And I had proven for MK Ultra to exist. And I do not want under absolutely any circumstances a blood infection, which is a bad stuff, it can be, sure, be mistaken Blood infection and poisoning be mistaken with proven already MK Ultra case. I, <laughs> that's another thing why the Buckingham Palace resorted itself to the, such a violent option that went all the way into poisoning issues into real poisoning issues US government not only Buckingham Palace I I I am not for that kind of a save the buck save the dollar bill politic and I'm not going to allow for you to with the rat poisoning procedures void all the physical proofs People I have identified, locations I have identified. I don't want with that kind of a game to cluster, basically to cover the world of proofs I have submitted already. That's not, that's not my plan. Now, just prior to this video, you were able to see I have identified the people at the hospital during the latest examination. Today, as I stated, a medical vehicle stopped by this one here, and I did manage to identify whom other than a physician. We're going to do it like this, straight from the telephone. We're going to copy-paste this thing here. Now, please allow me to... Play and translate this for you. Intervention to Oh, my mother hits my... Okay. Don't ask me why, don't ask me how. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you the audio recording in which I identify a physician involved in MK Ultra, just to say, oh, here you have, that's another one. No. 
Bazı bazı şeyler var. First thing for me to note, a physician alone, a doctor stated, the father hears whatever he wants to hear. Father has a hearing aid inside his ear, and a physician is screaming, yelling, not screaming, but yelling inside in there for father to hear him. And father pretends, acts, he doesn't hear one. Now, a physician is not from yesterday. We're going to use this one. I just asked a physician whether he ever was, if he ever visited this home. He said that I would be aware of, no. I tell him, you complete it, because I record that he was here in 2013, 100% inside in here. I told him, you completed the university in 2012, by any chance, have you? That I ask because well, I, yeah. uh, he said, yes, he say, uh, he understood my issue 2012, but I want it for 2013 because in 2013 they hospitalized me and he was here. Uh, he says just about something like this. He understood that I'm not asking about whether he completed the university, but eventually that he started to work as an independent physician. And he said, he said yes. He said why? I said because I remember you. No, I say this because he just said that we never met that he ever was here and so on. That's why I also asked earlier if you ever were here. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he said, uh-huh, he said, I said, and I say, yeah. Was the nice? Yes, and what 
Uh, I think I'm not really sure that he said something about specialization in 2014 or something like that. But I wanted to make sure that since 2013 that he confirms me that since 2013 he works as independent physician. That's what actually matters to me. So, to repeat this again. Ah, okay. Oh, he said as an independent as an independent physician he worked already earlier he said he says I completed the university in 2008 he said but wait a minute I said as an independent physician, and he cuts me, he says, uh, when you complete the university, when you complete the university, you already are a physician. So he does not want to confirm me what I stated. But I don't give in. I want the answer exactly on why not 2013. And so I ask how long it took him to become specialized so that he could work basically uh, is you know on his own he said the specialization however it was it lasted five years okay so he completed one in 2008 it took another five years for him to complete specialization and that's exactly uh, just as he stated, five years is what it takes. That's exactly year 2013. So there you have it. So he says 2013, yeah. He said, uh, I didn't know, I said, I didn't know it lasts, uh, the specialization takes five years. He said it's different, some four and some five, okay? So there you have, that's another physician. Uh, I have managed to identify this physician. This physician was a very good physician. This, this, this young man, I remember when he would go to the university and I would go with him to Ljubljana. So whether he needs some kind of uh, accommodation, something like this, better, for a better price, state-assisted, you know, find cheaper place, that kind of stuff, I have no idea what, how, sometimes, whatever, they give to the students, maybe even a job, something like this, paid or something like this, they find them, whatever, whatever it might be. Students Kodela or Kukarkoli. Uh... That's the guy right there. And you're talking about the young man. You're talking about the young man. What I did was actually brazen. Because the guy looks like... It, it, it's, it, it looks like a really young guy. All right? You could, you could if you would say... If you, it, it would be impossible to tell the age. It would be completely impossible because he looks like somebody between age... Completely like between age 23 up to 37, 38, 40. Completely. He's got even this young uh, thing in the back and so on. You wouldn't. You wouldn't do this unless you would know the gentleman. And I did. You see, I did. Uh... There is a big difference in absolutely everything. Uh, the people that are diagnosed with the schizophrenia, I am not going to say that I don't believe that people have schizophrenia. I believe that schizophrenia actually exists. 
I think it's actually something natural in everyone. Animals do have schizophrenia. Uh, anybody that is kind of a hyperactive, that kind of overreacts, is having some kind of difficulties with, you know, coordinating issues in a proper timely manner response related ratio but the thing about it is that my problem was according to psychiatrists and psychologists was that I was too relaxed that I was too laid back that I was too laxed that I didn't care that's what they claimed what kind of a make me look like uh, stupid uh, maybe this is the maybe they develop idea about me being stupid or something like this that just anything can be done to me and I will go along or something like this I don't even understand why this stuff really where from which why they would take such a cruel approach toward me as a human being and I to tell you the truth I don't really care about it I know that uh, the best way uh, the best defense is to attack. And I know if the people like this, I'm not going to say if you can afford, it's about the best decision to do. But I'm saying, and that's how I'm going to close this video, is uh, the more these people I know from London, the more they get away with the more they manage to steal, the more they want to steal. That's one thing is, 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 is this ratio between them and between the humanity is the ratio that, that I saw myself in because of, exactly because of this aspect is just that the more they managed to steal, the more they manage to get away with, uh, the more crime they pushed into my face. The more of this here, the more of this kind of stuff to make me look stupid, uh, to, to keep silent about it all, to be intimidated, to be afraid. With what I, what it came to me with idea to simply discredit myself, associate me with this kind of title, paranoia, schizophrenia, uh, and which relates to grandeur, ideas of grandeur, uh, multimillionaire, cancer, a cure for cancer. They demanded me to write to talk about the cure for cancer how I should point out about the cure for cancer. You know, they teach me about all these cures, uh, uh, cancer cures, and that, that what I should talk about is the cancer because it was so many people that resented me that it would really, really help me if I would go out there uh, and talk about the cancer. And they were not shy of involving everybody from Hollywood who suffered from cancer or whomever they have come across and had a cancer and wanted to participate in it. They were not shy of that kind of stuff. Dissociated disorder, depression, anxiety disorder, personality disorder. Huh. And ladies and gentlemen, just, I don't know how many of you have gone through a certain period in life when you were searching for work and you just couldn't find one. I was told there's a lot of people that they, the government does this. So for whatever reason, probably for the one they get, they get a little bit maybe, maybe even too much serious about life. But that's one thing. Doing this kind of stuff to an individual, so many times they have done it to me. That's something else, boy. But causing someone infection with having one subjected to the torture at every dentist 
in the locality, in the city of the Novo Mesto, and in Poland even, involving people, and have God knows how many people claiming you know, that you're going to have a cancer. Joe Biden, you're going to rotten, rotten, not die, rotten in pain and in vain. And at the same time, rat poison individual? Just so he couldn't get up from his knees and start even think about the job search, as a matter of fact, start even think about. I got a broken car downstairs I got to fix. Start to even think about going about his life. Do his normal stuff. Now you're going to go and fucking beat him up with the health issues like this. Like you. That's something completely different. That's something completely different. I wasn't going to publish this stuff. But boy. They didn't give me no. They didn't give me no choice. Certain to publish this stuff. I don't want to talk about this stuff. It makes me feel bad. My father was the one whom my father called. My mother used to call hypochonder because he would consume medications and stuff. I never want to eat medications. All I wanted to eat was a natural food. Ladies and gentlemen. If you are a cancer patient, and my symptoms somewhat were similar to cancer, that's blood infection, sepsis like symptoms, they were pretty damn bad, and I suffered a lot of poisoning along the way, real poisoning. You got to admit you have to invest a vast amount of effort to improve your health, for you to get up, for you to get release yourself your health enough to call yourself I'm not going to even say cancer free but so that you can go about life because it takes enormous energy from you but in this case this this you don't even know what kind of psychological toll this takes on you when you invest when you every time you're going to eat you're going to eat the right food with what they brainwash on under MK Ultra, the food you don't like, the green, the green stuff you have to eat. You have to eat that. You have to, hey, you start to hate, I'm not going to say only life, you start to hate stuff that otherwise would be really helpful to you. In the last five years, it warns you out. It makes you quit on life. You got to admit, on every poisoning like this, a rat poisoning, in between this kind of infection, life, it could get fucking bad. And for every attempt, you exercise, you go exercising, you go walking, sticking to the proper diet, you get fucked like this, you got to admit... It will bring you closer and closer and closer to depression issues, to the garbage food. And American psychologists stated, the amount of food, if you would have suffered from either cardio, from either cancer-related issues that you will be talking about, the, amount, the type of food, the garbage, the cookies, the garbage that you ate, that you're going to eat because of the stuff they're going to do to you, every physician can tell already is proof enough that it was actually, he said, this is going to be the hardest proof that it was actually the real poisoning in between that was taking place. And I did. Every time I got fucked, poisoned, screwed up like this after investing enormous amount of energy in the right food, in the right exercise, in the, in the right normal habits, I got punished for it severely. 
just to find whatever was prepared for me. And I had proofs, I have audio, video recorded that stuff about the cookies, all that shit, and so on and so forth. That's fucked up. Maybe you're diabetic, maybe you're a cancer patient, and you got to admit, if I would be doing to you stuff like this, you too would push away the real MK Ultra proofs necessary for you to prove the existence of MK Ultra, which I already did, because I posted thousand people I have identified. So that you could prove that these people are actually fucking poisoning you. You got to admit, makes it take, it's logical. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to play you one more time this audio about the physician I have identified today before my father was taken also to the hospital. He went to the hospital. They told me it's going to be coronavirus during, um, during MK Ultra. They told me, uh, after elections, elections in Slovenia ended yesterday. With this guy is going to win, it's going to be coronavirus, your father gone, and so on and so forth. Let's go. Let me play this for you one more time so you can hear this with your own ears. There you go. Oh. This is one case you're not going to be able to prove a case of, exist of existence in me as per my suffering from a paranoia, from schizophrenia. And there is no effing, there is no fucking way you're going to prove that MK Ultra case did not exist. And there's no fucking way you're going to prove that you didn't use a poison, a rat poison, real fucking poison. There's no way you're going to do this. And there's no way that political parties, people that I have mentioned, including royals, you're going to prove that eventually did not engage in this kind of stuff. They did. You did. You're guilty. And you are not going to prove me wrong in this case. Shame. 28 years of life lost. Went inside of the psychiatric hospital. You even pushed me inside of the psychiatric hospital. For what I was told, I'm a dead walking man. I'm a life buried. And in the end, you actually resort yourself to the real poisoning. Man, that sucks. See. It's not Stalin who did this. It's not Joseph Stalin who did this. Not even Putin did this. You did this shit on behalf of Vladimir Putin. You took a notes. You wrote from Vladimir Putin what Vladimir Putin wants from you. An exercise against me so much crime demonstrate him at the same time as suffering from the stuff you have done to me during the poisoning procedures so that I would mentally associate with him. 
fuck you. Not even Joseph Stalin did this shit like this. You suck. Good night. There was a most important part, maybe. I don't know. There are many important parts, but this is very important, very relevant to this MKUltra game. That I missed, I failed to mention. Always, it would be few days before the poisoning would take place. Maybe day two, maybe three days in advance that you would have filled supplies with the cookies, with the garbage. Then you would take a hard hit. Then once you would take a hard hit, that's a food wax, it would be the next day that my mother would prepare food uh, that would actually elevate me that would it would be like a salad it would be red beets it would be meat that would be red uh, stuff that would help cells uh, obviously for the system to recuperate itself so this is maybe one of the biggest uh, psychological, as far as toxic way, to convince individual that eventually it worked. That somebody is engaging in totally sadistic uh, public lynching. I don't know how you would refer to this kind of stuff, but it was exactly the procedure I'm talking about right now that was repeated time and again after every poisoning. It's, you could not fucking miss this thing. How these people would otherwise know, and I did not record that stuff, and it always was the case. After every poisoning, it was always the food that would accelerate recuperation stuff that I was taught um, but I had no control over it because the finances uh, it's good for your health uh, under MK Ultra, taught under MK Ultra. after every poison it wasn't only the Yahoo News where they would do as they promised me they would do but it was after every poisoning that my mother, which otherwise I would not even eat food, despite everything, I continue to prepare food for myself. Uh, after every poisoning, however, and she did not prepare the food for me. My mother does not prepare the food for me. She, after she prepares for her, for the father, for herself, even if it's a leftover, she would throw one away, including the salad and stuff like this that she knew very well I would need one normally because I wouldn't get one but after every poisoning it would always make sure that there is a food ready uh, for consumption under MK Ultra they insisted me it's gonna be also that was another game under MK Ultra it's gonna be this kind of a game uh, this kind of food and that's the food that's not healthy that's this that, 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 that. And then it's going to be that kind of food, uh, that's like so-so, and then it's that kind of food. Now, that's a healthy one, that's a good one. And they fucked around a little bit too much for this movie, so that I would miss on creating this movie. This was a little bit too much for me to ignore. Uh, how I did this stuff, how this stuff was completed, I'm telling you. Uh, it's impossible with on this computer. Uh, I don't know how they have done it uh, But this stuff was actually look at this here. See this this Q here this whatever this sign is uh, Just as I was told the case is gonna be by the British alone. This stuff eventually was uh, Much of it was recorded just as you see me right now on a laptop and uh, then it was joined, literally joined on Androids. Because on Android, 
I managed to join a pieces of this uh, clips, hour long clips. On computer I couldn't, I can go past 55, 56, 57 minutes. It, uh, it falls apart each time I'm trying to do this. This is basically how this came to life. Thanks for watching.